as advertised off the top of the show, yeah. we are going to present the top five last second shots in BYU basketball history. Because of Damian Lillard. Based on yeah. what Damian Lillard did last night for the Portland Trailblazers, so got good. the wheels spinning, and oh. there have been some epic moments in BYU basketball history. Now we're talking last second shots, game on the line, somewhere to win at the buzzer, somewhere like right near the buzzer. Yes. But these are some of the most epic finishes, the top five last second shots. Starting with number five, rewind to 2003, Rafael Araujo and his game-winning shot against UNLV. Offensive glass, and they'll surround them with a lot of good shooters. Langston posted up left side. Little jumper. Yes. Mike Hall. Lemus. Dribbling. Underneath. Arayujo. Yes. With one half of a second to go. And BYU wins it on the road. The delivery, the dish, the finish. Araujo is a big-time talent. Lemus totally controlled the game, not only on the perimeter, but on the post. Jerem, the Brazilian connection. Luis Lemus to Rafael Araujo yeah. at the buzzer now. I was in Brazil. Yes, you were. This game, maybe that's why it happened. Maybe that's why well, it happened. Well, it mainly happened because uh, Luis drove and passed it to Huffield. But no, yeah. no, let's make this let's let's make this spiritual, man. <laughs> you, you were working hard in Brazil, so yeah, okay. had nothing to do with it. All right, uh, the Brazilian you were at, connection. Were you at that game? You said? I was at the game nice. wearing an ugly royal blue carpet, old school BYU sweater that matched with three of my college roommates nice. at the Thomas and Mac. That game solidified BYU's NCAA at-large tournament resume. I've never seen that play oh, until so today. Good. I, so I, good. I, I haven't seen it. That was awesome. Number four, Jimmer Fredette's halftime buzzer beater at Utah on 1-11-11. Mm. BYU by eight in the Jimmer with four and with three and with two. Jimmer from 40 feet. Go! Oh! Maybe the greatest half of basketball ever for a BYU player. Now, this wasn't at the end of a game, but it's Jimmer and it's Utah and it's half court, so we threw it in there. 32 points in one half. I was under the basket. He made it. <laughs> uh, shooting. You were at that game. Number three, Lexi Rydalch against San Francisco as we rewind to 2015. This play made it all the way to number two on SportsCenter's top ten. I also happened to be on the call of this you game, You called Jared. this, Yeah. Yeah. From half so why court, don't you just recreate it here? Okay, I'm going to try and do this live voiceover. 6.2 okay. seconds to go. Okay, so San Francisco ties it with a free throw. 6.2 to play. Amanda Wayman inbounds to Lexi Rydalch to half court with three and two. Good! I was a little bit higher than that in the moment, though. Off the glass, Rydalch. That was pretty good. The game winner. Oh, yeah, that was that was dope. Almost half court. Like, it's not. it's different when you're down and you make that shot. She's in the logo. She's literally in the logo. Damian Lillard's like, that is okay to shoot from that. That's fine. <laughs> awesome. Okay, number two, Kevin Nixon's half-court heave to oh beat goodness. UTEP for the 1992 WAC tournament title. He's caught in the corner. Seven on the game clock. Scoops up the shot. Blocked by Trost, but the ball by Maxi. Mishandle the ball. The clock runs out. They get it inbounds to Nixon. Fires one up at midcourt. Good! Good he threw it right in the goal, and they have tried to run a screen on the baseline, hoping to get the foul call. And I think he just felt like, well, I'm going to throw it up and hope that something good happens, and he throws it right in the goal. A great play by Nixon. He threw it right in the goal. Yes, he did. BYU called three timeouts before that play, and Russell Larson was subbed out, and Kevin Nixon came in. And it wasn't supposed to be for Kevin Nixon, but he nailed it. No, but they had practiced that shot, and the way the net pops up in that shot, like snip. I, I'm pretty Perfect. sure he ripped the net. Perfect. Perfect shot. And number one, not surprisingly, the play that Jerem Jordan spoke about about 30 minutes ago. Danny Ainge against Notre Dame in the NCAA Tournament Sweet 16. This to send the Cougars to the Elite Eight in 1981. Over the last four Brigham Young outings, Danny Ainge had scored 124 points. There are eight seconds to go. Ainge against Paxson. Five seconds. Inside. Second on the clock. It is all over. It is all over. But it looked like Notre Dame was going to have Kelly Trapuca as the hero. The hero's battle is lost by Notre Dame. And the 
Tiger goes, Banner goes to Danny A. Greatest, greatest finish. Like, that's to get to the Elite Eight, man. Angels that averaging over 30 points a game in that NCAA tournament run with no three-point line. I do love that the analyst got so antsy. He's like, I want to say something. I want to say something. He just jumps in over the play-by-play. -play. It's like, wait just a second. <laughs> wait a moment. That was fun. Top five last-second shots in BYU Sports History.